Welcome back. We're gonna play this game. I know you've long awaited this ever since its release earlier this year. And I know you've been quite patient, so uh, without further ado, let's get started uh, playing Internet Court. Uh, yeah, let's play with subtitles on, uh, sure. In today's world, crime can happen anywhere, even in cyberspace. No. And when someone gets pulled over on the information superhighway, they get <gasps> a one-way ticket to the Internet Court. Oh boy. One-way ticket. Case number one. Friends for never. Hi, I'm a Super Lawyer 64, and I'm a prosecutor for Internet Court. Uh, kind of. Kind of. Actually, today is my first trial, and the only Oof. reason I got this case is because my mom knows the plaintiff, so now I basically have to get a conviction. Whatever. Whatever. No I pressure. This, and I'm gonna win. <laughs> no, he isn't. He's gonna lose. Hard. Well, the good news is, I know the defense attorney. Uh, she's actually the one who got me this job in internet court, so hmm. I like to think we're more than just co-workers. We're actually friends. We're not friends. I barely even know the guy. And he's kind of weird. Uh, well, I'm too nervous. I've got to get something to eat. <laughs> Off a of commentary soon. Uh, these are nice people. I don't know anything about the judge, though. Hopefully he's a normal person. Hmm. Who might this judge be? Who might this judge be? Stream starting soon. Yeah. Uh, when we get a break in the action here, I'll talk a little bit. Uh, these people... Oh, never mind. No break yet. Judge Doodles. Oh. Are we starting? Okay, we're starting. Uh, where's, uh... Where's everybody else? Guess I need to add them to the call. Hmm. Okay, how is uh, uh, technology? Super Lawyer 64 here, Your Honor. Good. And the defense? Don't stop defending. Ready. All right. Then the case of somebody versus the other person is ready to. He seems commence. super animated about the whole uh, thing. As usual, I have not had time to read the case brief. So can somebody tell me <laughs> what this case Wait, the whole point of the brief is, is supposed to, it's supposed to be brief and readable. Yes, Your Honor. But okay. Uh, my client, Christy Spear, is suing Marianne Thomas for unfriending her online. For no reason whatsoever. She just unfriended her without any warning, and it was just super harsh, so she needs to be sued. Oh, well, that sounds Your convincing. Honor, I intend to argue that my client had a very good reason for unfriending Christy. And that reason is that uh, it's a secret. Oh, okay. Should I interrupt here? Oh, do we have a break in the action? Okay, so I can mention all these actors that we're seeing on stream here uh, are former or current members of Game Cola, the uh, game review online organization. Um, so I'd strongly recommend checking that out, in addition to O'Rock Studios, the other games by the same studio that produced Internet Court. So check all that out, we can talk further about that. Uh, but yeah, presently we're pressed. Uh, I guess we're acting as the prosecution, or assisting the prosecution here, and they're asking, do we need to hear the motive? Hmm. Mm, how about no? The motive is a secret? Get real. If she had a good argument to make here, she would have already made it. I'm sure she's bluffing. Nice. Moving on then, we're gonna start this trial with testimony from Christy. I'm here! I'm ready to testify! I mean, oh, oh, I'm so upset <gasps> that Marianne unfriend me. Oh no. And for no reason at all. This is awful. Yeah, people do things for no reason all the time. Thanks, Mom. Uh, what was that? Nothing, nothing. Uh, uh, Miss Spear, please start your testimony. Mary Ann and I have been friends for years. Really, really good friends. Well, we've never argued about anything before. I Wait, even aren't friends supposed to argue? Mittens. 
So, when I woke up to find that she had unfriended me online, I was shocked. Shocked? I didn't do anything to deserve that. See, Wait, your your, your friendship is that like a real life thing or an what online does the thing? The defense have to say, well, this guy's gone. The testimony is a lie, Your Honor. I've got evidence to prove it. Here's a copy of the witness's friends page. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, we get a court record. All right. Well, so. Yeah, if you've ever been on the Wall of Faces, this might look familiar in some way. Um, but okay, here's... yeah, we can see there's Muffins. Uh, looking pretty cute. Looks good to me. Why are there only four posts here? Shouldn't there be more? I edited out the unnecessary posts. We don't need to see them. Should I raise an objection? Nah, let, let, let's trust uh, the defense on this one. I hope you're telling the truth. Of course I am. Do you have any evidence that proves otherwise? I, um, I, I didn't bring any evidence. Yeah, I mean... Am I supposed to? <laughs> hmm, it's cute to see the baby lawyer make rookie mistakes. <laughs> oh yeah? You think I'm cute, huh? Well, hmm. I'll show you what's cute! What? Yeah, what? Oops, I probably oh. shouldn't have said that. Now I'll have to make something up to save face. Uh, it's here on the friends page. One of these posts shows something cute. Alright, I guess it's my first quiz. I didn't realize there were actually four posts here. Um, yeah. So, I don't know, the, the notion that, like, uh, the temptation of induction of wine and chocolate... That's pretty cute, right? The cute thing is here. What's so cute about that? It's Dude, cute. How you think it's, that's a it's wine and answer. chocolate. Oh no, 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 let me try again. I, I, I just misclicked, that's all? I really meant to select. All right, well, let's pick this first one. The right. cute thing is here. What's so cute about that? It's cute. How you think that's a valid answer? All right, all right. No, 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 no. Let me try again. I, 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 I wonder how many times the game will let me I click this really thing. Meant to select. Here, can we pick this one up? No. Can we pick that? No. All right. Let's let's pick. Uh... The cute thing is here. What's so cute about? All right. It's... Oh no. Oh, I can only skip one of those things at a time. Um, the only reason to watch babies and backgammon. Well, that reasoning's kind of cute, isn't it? The cute it? thing is here. What's so cute about that? All right. All right, fine. Look, Muffins is extra cute today. Fine, here. all right, this we'll take it. This cat is clearly cute. The defense has no objections to this claim. It is a very cute cat. Sustain. The cat is totes adorbs. What does that have to do with the matter at hand? It, um... What would a real lawyer say? The cat unfriended them. It's important because... because the cat bought the website? Diction in the picture! Oh. Yes! Okay, never mind. What? No, there isn't. Alright, prosecutor. Why don't you point out this contradiction for us? If you contradiction can. in the picture? I'm gonna give you a strike! Uh-oh. Three strikes, and you're out. I'd better answer this one correctly, then. All right, all right. Let's see. Now, we're saying there's something, a contradiction in the picture, right? So, um, hmm. All right. Which part of the testimony contradicts the cat picture? We've never argued about anything before. See, I don't really see anything in the picture that, like, this here contradicts. Um, I mean, I see here, like, I even bought her a cat named, uh, like, it says Mittens here, and there it says, like, Muffins is, I guess, the cat name or something. But you know what? That's not in the picture. So, I don't know. Let's pick, let's, uh, yeah, let's pick this one. That has nothing at all to do with the cat. What are you thinking? Yeah, are you high on catnip or something? Take a shot. High on life? No! Alright. Okay, All right. 
trying again. What part of the testimony contradicts the cat picture? All right, all right. I guess I guess we'll pick this. The post about the cat contradicts the testimony about the cat, obviously. But that's not in, in the, the picture. Christy says the cat is named Mittens. But in the post, it clearly shows the cat is named Muffins. What? If you bought the cat, why don't you know its name? I, uh, um, hmm. Answer me! <laughs> Excuse me, you're supposed to be on my side? Oh. Don't make me tell your mother. Objection! Don't bring my mom into this. Objection sustained. First you forget cute little muffin's name, then you threaten your own lawyer. Witness, I'm starting to think you're not a very good friend. That is 100% correct. Christy Spire oh. is not a good friend. You're such That's a good lawyer. That's why my client is justified in unfriending her. Thank you very much for proving this to us, Super Lawyer 64. My client isn't guilty of any malicious intent. She was just hmm. removing all the bad friends from her page. And speaking of bad, hey. I couldn't help but notice that there's another contradiction between hey. her testimony hey. and the evidence. Objection. Yeah, the evidence that you prepared ahead of time. Are you saying there are good you know, people good and bad CD, people? Well prepared, competent, legal minded. Oh gosh, I'm really bad at this lawyer stuff. <laughs> another contradiction. Uh oh. Surely you've noticed mm. it too, Super Lawyer 64. Why hey. don't you tell the court all about it? Objection? No, you do. But also. Are you saying there's, like, good people and bad people? And that it's okay to not befriend, like, bad people? Just because you think they're bad? Like, we need more evidence here. But, um, nah. No, we're not gonna reveal anything. Nah, I'll pass. I'm not gonna reveal testimony that's bad for my case. You're just scared. Scared of the truth! The only so? thing that scares me is your face! Order! Order! I know this is internet court, but such behavior is uncalled for. Let's just focus on the country, hmm. shall we? Okay. Okay, how do I be contrarian then? I want to be contrarian. The game's taking away my agency, you know? <laughs> Alright, which part, which sentence contradicts one of the posts, and which post does it contradict? All right. Um, I didn't do anything to deserve that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I guess we'll try to actually win this case. Um, or I'm actually curious what happens if we fail it. So, um, yeah. Let, let's pick. I didn't do anything to deserve that. Oh, am I allowed to? Yeah, here we go. Swing and a miss. That's a oh against you. Oh dear. Here's a hint. We got struck the, the hard way. Said she's never fought with my client before. Oh, are you kidding me? That's the statement that was contradicted? Aha! Uh -huh. I'm bound to get it right this time. No, 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 no. Um. Alright. Hey, what happens if we present the same thing that we presented earlier? Swing and a miss. That's a no, no, there's no saying that that cat has to be the same cat. That's three strikes, prosecutor. You're done. Get out of here. Kicking you off the call. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll reconvene at a later date. Uh -oh. We can find a prosecutor who's not a total idiot. <laughs> no need for that, Judge. You can just declare my client innocent. I won't argue. <laughs> oh. All right. I was kicked out of internet court that day. All my online friends responded by unfriending me. It was awful, and I never got any clients again after that. Well... How did I mess up so badly? <laughs> Super Lawyer 64? <laughs> More like Super Loser 64. Oh dear. Hey. Oh, uh, yeah, well, let's try it again. Sure. But also, I'm curious... Oh, okay, so this actually sets me back to the point in the case where we're at. As opposed to, like, what the Ace Attorney series does, where you have to start the case all over again. Alright, so this does allow me some agency playing around with things. So I think we're going to continue playing around with things. Um, so... Never argued about anything before. 
contrasted with, hey, here's an argument. Um, Christy says she never fought with Marianne over anything before. However, the fourth post on the page so. clearly shows the two of them fighting over a TV show. Exactly. They fought <laughs> over which character is better. I don't think that was a serious argument. Talking about Logan's extreme hotness so. is always serious business, Your Honor. This is ridiculous. A strike against the defense for wasting our time. Damn. <laughs> no, if you watched the show, you would understand. Oh, there's a strike right there. Wow. Huh. Thank you, Judge Doodles. I couldn't agree more with your decision. Oh, I'd like to mention something. It's been bugging me for a while. Um, what's with the pictures on the page? Pictures. The oh, the pictures? the little lock things. The prosecution knows what I'm talking about, right? Uh, uh, I'm still gonna be contrarian, although I'm not gonna go down. If I think there's a funny strike, I'll take it. But otherwise, um, yeah, here's a picture. No, that can't be what the judge is talking about. Let me try again. All right. How about this one? No, that can't be what the judge is talking about. All right. I'm curious. Just how far did they go with coding this game? Uh, fine. Do you mean these lock symbols? Yeah. What are they doing there? Oh, they usually indicate locked or hidden posts. Here, let me just click to show them. Whoa! Alright, here we go. Let's see. Oh, man! Alright, I guess we'll pick the... We can't pick the cat thing again! Oh, man. Wow, we are getting spoon-fed here. Alright. I guess there's only so many reactions that they could... Um... Hmm. Alright. Oh, I can't select Ooh, anything. They're all political memes about Senator Kayworth. Aha! Marianne was spamming Christy with political posts. That's definitely worth an unfriend. Hey, wait. My client wait a second. Under what circumstances does the defense, like, have more evidence than the prosecution has? I mean, I get it's internet court, but still. Did we just lose? Nah, we lost. Yep, the defense is right. I totally unfriend someone who spammed me with that garbage. Guess the defendant is innocent after all. Wait, 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 wait. Mary Ann is the defendant in this case. That means... OBJECTION! You've got it backwards! Oh. When Mary Ann was posting political photos from the Vote huh. Hayworth or Die group, that gives Christy the motive to unfriend her! But... But Marianne unfriended Christy. Exactly. Oh. We came up with a motive for the Drama. wrong person. I agree with the prosecution. This doesn't make sense. Can I have my client testify about these posts? Maybe <clears throat> that would help clear up matters. Sounds good to me. Hmm. Let me just add her to the call. It occurs to me. Oh, well, hang on. One sec. It occurs to me that if this. Hello? I didn't post those political memes. I don't even like Senator Kayworth, but my hubby loves the guy. He must have posted them. Objection! Why was your husband using your account? Objection? You know, Relevance? This is gonna sound stupid, but my account is really easy to hack. The password is muffins. Your password is your cat's name. Yeah, he, he must have logged on as me and shared these photos. He's always posting his stuff on my page. Drives me crazy. Hmm. Uh, hey, Dinah, we're in the middle of a trial here. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just checking the witness's testimony. And yeah. I want to make sure that she is telling it, it cursed that. me. There. That this would go better um, yep, you as a streaming really game if there were more breaks. Check it out. Yeah, so I think this perhaps is more meant to be something that a person experiences uh, not while live streaming the game because, like, there's not a whole lot of breaks in it. It's not written the same way that, like, Phoenix Wright or something's written where there's a break every sentence, um, which probably wouldn't flow well for the game overall. Oh dear. Wow, 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 wow. 
The whole point of ice cream is that it's unhealthy. Yeah. I see, I see. I wonder where these photos are for, from. Hey, delete that post about me. Oh, I, I can't. It's vital evidence. Ha! <laughs> okay, so the defendant's account can easily be hacked. What does that mean for the case? Clearly, this proves that my client is innocent. Someone hacked into her account and then unfriended Christy. My client had nothing oh. to do with it. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, sure. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I could buy that. And what's more, I've noticed a contradiction in the new evidence. I don't see any contradictions. Look harder. One post on Marianne's timeline clearly contradicts a post on Christie's timeline. Hmm. Oh, oh, I see them now. Uh, the conflicting posts are... Uh-oh. Well... Let's see. Now, I did have the fortune of being able to witness um, somebody else playing this. But, you know, I'm trying to think, is there something funny I can say here? Um, yeah, how about this ice cream thing? And then over here, there is a mention of wine and chocolate. I don't follow. Now I'm annoyed. That's a strike against you. Probably. Hey, you didn't warn me. Why you can't give me a strike, strike if you didn't warn me. Defense's contradiction. <sighs> My life is so unfair. <laughs> Fine. If life were fair, I'd be in a real courtroom right now, not playing around with you dorks. Oof. Harsh words from the game creator. <laughs> Alright. So. Yep. I guess we're gonna pick uh, this actor. I don't follow. Well, now oh, I'm did I pick it wrong? Strike against you, prosecution. Wow. Why am I getting a strike when it's the defense's contradiction? Wow, I, I'm failing twice in a row. So unfair. <laughs> if life were fair, I'd be in a real court. All right, all right. Um, let's see. So, what else could we pick here? Um, to do. I, if I remember right, it is related to this actor. Um, but, let's see. Oh, ah, uh, I picked the wrong comment. Exactly. We've got two posts by Marianne about the same TV show. In the one, she says she likes Bart, and in the other, she likes Alan. What if they're the Which same character? Which one is it, Marianne? Which one is it? Maybe the character's name is Bart Allen. Bart is the best. Or Alan Bart. Then what about poor old Alan? You leave him out in the cold? I can explain. I wrote that post before last month's flashback hmm. episode. You know, the one that completely ruined Alan's character. It's it doesn't count here. anymore. Two strikes here. That episode made Alan into a better character. I loved his tragic backstory. You're crazy. All he did was spend... 40 minutes whining about his childhood. Objection was more like 15 minutes. And it was amazing. Hmm. Objection overruled. The defense <laughs> will refrain from fangirling in my courtroom. But Alan Stacy is hmm. my OTP. Alright, if uh, that's all we have to discuss, I'm ready to make my verdict. Hang on, can I testify? Objection. Sure. About what? About how I didn't do it. No. What do you have to say? Then I didn't do it! Pa. Uh, Objection and overruled. Take. I request that we not hear from her. <laughs> She'll just complain about how she's innocent and doesn't deserve this. Let's spare ourselves the fake drama and convict her. Now! Uh, Dinah, I'm the prosecutor today, not you, remember? <laughs> oh, oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Old habits die hard. Wait. Are you hey, I want. Used to be a prosecutor. Yeah, at least until. I want to see that case. Contrived cliffhanger case. The what now? That sounds way more interesting than this. Tell me more. But I don't. But could we maybe focus on the trial at hand? Uh, fine. Yeah, let's let's convict so, the defendant. Are there any more contradictions with this new evidence, or can I make my verdict? Well, I I did notice something odd. Objection. It's not a contradiction per se, but I still think it's weird. What do you think, Super Lawyer? I think it's my turn First to present. Of all, it's Super Lawyer 64. Super Lawyer is my mother. Second of all, 
what? I'm talking. You didn't let me finish my presentation. Of posts are weirdly similar. You know which ones I mean, right? Uh, um, uh, uh, but yeah, I'd like to see the previous cases where she's the prosecution. I think that could be interesting. Posts that are weirdly similar. Yeah, no, I think like the prosecution should make all the case, and uh, it's the defense who really should be presenting all the uh, objections or such. Um, so it's kind of weird that the defense is prompting me to do all these things. So the two posts that are weirdly similar. Um, is this the thing about like wine and chocolate and low-fat ice cream or something? I wonder. Uh, let's give it a shot. Both Christy and Marianne wrote posts with the word induction. The old, outdated definition of induction. Oh, I knew so that. So isn't that a little suspicious? I happen to like the word induction. It comes from Latin. Inducare. Meaning. Oh, great. I that think you mean induco, inducata, rants. but okay. It's not a rant to use the language properly. Huh. Well, if Christy is the only person who would use the word induct like that, I guess that means Christy wrote both posts. Oh, I thought that post Objection. was unfamiliar. You wrote <laughs> You can't it? prove that. No, of course not. How would I gain access to your account? We already proved that Marianne's account is easily hacked. Anyone who knows her cat's name could get in. Ha ah, ah. ha. But earlier, you proved that I didn't know the name of Marianne's cat. So that makes me innocent. Oh. She's right. Did she hmm. lie to us just to give herself plausible deniability later on? That's so diabolical. Hey, wait a second. Why didn't Mom learn me about her? Well, she was well point. So... Is there any way she could have known the cat's name? Hang on. Hang on. We're the prosecution. We should have asked the website, the internet provider for that site. Um, or rather the site provider. We should have asked them for the server logs to indicate who hacked into who. Or at least what IP address uh, logged in under which account. And if it's secure at all, like there should be notifications going out like when accounts are hacked, you know. Uh, is it possible that Christy knew the kid? Nah. Nope. No way. It's, it's There's no way. Are you crazy? There is a way she could have learned his <laughs> name, even if she forgot it. That would require her to read. Um. Hmm. Oh, I don't even get to do, like, the whole parody thing where I... Yeah, this one. Here we go. Yeah, I don't think that's correct. Come on! Ugh, no! We need evidence proving Christy knew about the cat's name. We need evidence from Christy's timeline not marianne's we'll give you another uh, chance but first a strike wait why me hey that's three strikes prosecutor you're done get out of here hey you told me you'd no, give you me another that. chance i was kicked out of internet court that day all my online you, friends you told me you'd give me another chance it was oh, awful total idiot just the caption there that. how did mm. i mess up so badly Super lawyer there's no skip button here <laughs> More like, like Super, Super Loser 64. There's no skip button. Where'd my skip button go? Alright. He told me he'd let me try again, and then he kicked me out of the courtroom. Hmm. I'd make a good QA tester, wouldn't I? No, not really. But we can... We can imagine. Uh, how Christy know the cat's name? Is there no other silly way that I can make it through here? Fine, I guess I need to pick the cat thing. Here is a post with the name of the cat in question, and it's located on Christy's timeline where she can easily read it. No! I think we know what really happened. Christy logged on to her computer and saw a bunch of political ads hmm. for Senator Kayward. She wanted to get revenge on Marianne, so she hacked into Marianne's account and unfriended herself. It was all a trick to make herself look like the victim. Hmm. Christy, is this true? It's an interesting theory. Okay, okay, I admit it. I hacked into Marianne's account. Her political post induced me to punishing her. I wanted her to feel the pain and sorrow of losing a friend online. <gasps> but 
Why did you bring her to internet court over it? I thought I could get away with it. I just huh. wanted her to suffer the ultimate punishment. Which is? A lifetime ban. Ooh. I could certainly give one in this case, <laughs> but I'll be giving it to you. No, you can't ban me, you can't. I can and I will. This court finds the plaintiff And guilty. nothing of value was lost. Leveling false charges against Marianne, perjury in the internet court, and of being a bad friend. Recommended sentence, banishment <gasps> from the internet. Objection. Oh. We'll have to file <laughs> official charges against Christy, of course. Prosecution, defense, uh, shall we reconvene for writing the summary? Same time tomorrow? Uh, it works for me. I have dinner plans tomorrow. Uh, how about the day after? I've got this sports thing then. Every other day this week I'm busy with my real life job. Uh, next Wednesday? So, yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Lawyers say scheduling is like this. Day planner. Alright, fine, whatever. Just email me your times and dates after the call ends. We'll figure something out later, okay? Gotcha. Sounds good to me. Before we go, can I ask for a huge favor? Yeah, sure. What? Objection. Can you all add me as a friend now? I don't want my friend count to get down because of this trial. I'll friend you right away, but don't bother with Don't Stop Defending. I sent her a friend request like a month mm. ago, and she still hasn't responded. Great, now I have to add in. You mentioned <laughs> it in public. I'll update my friends list as soon as I send the judge my schedule. Sounds good to me. If there's no other business, anyone? Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like there isn't. Um, fine, internet court is done for today. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Just fold the machine in half. Alright, well that's case one. Um, yeah, I don't know whether we... So, oh. that was my first trial in the internet court. I think it went well, you know, besides for the fact that I got my client convicted and mom is still kind of mad at me for that. But... I had a lot of fun, and I think I'm going to keep going with this job. You know, internet court might not have the most glamorous cases ever, but I think it's still important to help catch criminals and make the internet a better place. Criminals. And I get free donuts in the mail for doing this. It's awesome. Wow. Well, I mean, yeah, hacking into somebody's account would be considered criminal um, if we could actually prove that. I don't know that we actually rose to the level of proving such a thing, even though testimony indicated it. But also, like, you don't just decide, hey, let's give out a lifetime ban. Yeah. that That's not how justice is meted out. I mean, you could. It's kind of like the old Wild West, where they came up with their own justice, their own laws, rules. But fine. I guess, I guess that's where internet court's at. I mean, I see the copyright here, year, in this spot here, but uh, it looks like this is intended, like with that goodbye, goodbyes, intended to be, like, back in the 90s or something, but still, uh, even though the wild, world wide web uh, was still evolving, you know, I don't know that it'd be meted out exactly that way, even in that time. Case 2, the fanfic fiasco. I never wanted to be a judge in internet court. I wanted to be a judge in a real courtroom with real people, real trials, real stakes. Mm. But I guess the legal higher-ups didn't think I was good enough for that. I'm still a little salty about that. Um, I think that's why I never try as hard as I could during these cases. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm getting better, uh, like how the other day in court when they mentioned the contrived cliffhanger case. Uh, I was <laughs> curious, so I decided to look it up, and lo and behold, they turned that case into a judge training case, uh, a, a computer simulation for training judges. Wait. I decide what the judge says and does and how he reacts, and I'm judged on how well I do. Um, Have you never been trained here, before? Why don't, uh, why don't I show you? Like, have you never been trained before? 
Okay. Oh, wait. Does this mean we're going to play as the judge now? Judge training simulation. The contrived... With mashed potatoes on top. Hanger. Oh, that sounds so good. Okay, it looks like they're just making small talk before the trial starts. At this point, the judge started the trial. Now, what happens if I click on stuff? Oh, the... Uh, the courtroom transcript. Mashed potatoes on top. All right. Because, you know, that's clearly what... Uh, well, maybe they do that in internet court. I don't know. Okay, here we go. The first prompt. Um, in real life, the judge started the trial at this point, so I should probably do the same. What should I say? Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, let's, let's just... Uh, I hereby commence the trial. I hereby commence the trial of Officer Graham R. Redpen versus Vic Berger. Would the two attorneys please introduce themselves? Purple Eagle Sandwich. <laughs> what? Orange Rectangular Raccoon. Hmm. Did I mess up the settings or something? This thing isn't working right. You're coming in a little low, Defense. Could you adjust your microphone settings? <laughs> oh, sure. <clears throat> Is this better? Perfect. Oh, the uh, original judge asked for a sound check first. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, mm. Okay, let's officially hey. start the trial. Hey, no, I, I'm the defense, and I'll be the prosecutor today. I'm representing Graham R. Redpen, who filed the suit in the name of... All people everywhere. And I'm That's Tina Middleton, aka Tina Dot Middleton, standing as the defense. My client, Vic Berger, has been accused of multiple accounts of bad fanfiction writing. A most serious crime, indeed. Exactly, Your <laughs> Honor. He's on the call now. Hey! Oh, oh, we're starting. Oh, um, uh. Uh, hi everybody. I'm I'm Vic Berger, and I I am uh, I'm the author of the fanfic. Um, sorry if my suit doesn't fit. It's actually my dad's, but I I, I just didn't know what I should wear to uh, internet court. You, you don't have to wear a suit. This is a very laid back courtroom. Ob hmm. Objection! My client is wearing a suit because he takes this trial seriously. Oh. He takes a lot of things seriously, including fan fiction writing. Right, Your Honor? Oh, that sounds right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, this is a starred prompt. That means it's one of the big, important decisions of this trial. Um, Ooh. If I right get out it of right, the gate. things just move on as normal. If I get it wrong, I get a strike. Just like uh, the lawyers in the real cases. Hmm. Uh, but getting back to the trial, the objection is that the defendant is wearing a suit because he takes things seriously. How do I want to respond to that? Doesn't look like a very serious suit. Um... How do you respond to the objection about Vic's suit? Wait, um... Objection overruled. The defendant's fashion sense has no bearing whatsoever on his capabilities as a writer. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Huh. Okay, it looks like I picked the right option. Uh, Dang. I was trying I to pick the wrong one. Ram R. Redpen here to testify. As you may know, Redpen is a member of the Grammar Police. Oh, I get it, Redpen. To protect the public from Mary Sue's tired tropes and Paul Graham. It is my duty to make the world a better place. We appreciate all that you do for us, but in this case, you have reached too far. My client's fanfics were good. <laughs> the defendant has written 140 different fanfics, most of them for Perry Hotter, Walk Der Do, and Phoenix, Phoenix Wright. Wright. 99% of them have checked out over. Wait, checked out okay. 
Is this really how you want to speak in proper grammar? Okay, it know. says the judge asked about the numbers. Which number should I ask about? Yeah, let's inquire about uh, the number that are okay. 99% of the fanfics have checked out okay? I've got a lot of free time, Your Honor. Oops, looks like the real judge picked the other option. Um, hmm. Oh well, uh, it's fine, that wasn't an important decision anyway. Yeah. We found two fanfics that violate our standards of good taste. The first one is relatively minor. Too many grammar issues. A few typos, not using an apostrophe for there. Accidental capital letters. Nothing a good proofreader can't fix. Mm. But the second fanfic. Oh, the second fanfic. It's <laughs> almost nothing but overblown, unnecessary cliffhangers. We but... should discuss the minor infraction first. It's easier. Objection. We should discuss the major infraction first. It's the important one. No, let's let's pick the minor one first. Why okay. not? Decision time. Let's worry this about the thing that doesn't matter. Cliffhanger case, right? So that means I should follow. But also, like, um, yeah, the they should control what evidence they're bringing into the case. No. Um. Yeah, let's focus on the one with grammar yeah, issues. Yeah, let's hear more about those typos. Yeah! We're going to examine each one in detail to find out whether they are really just innocuous spelling mistakes. Or... Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, come on! That was the wrong answer. I got I got a strike. Guess I should have picked the important offense first. Wait, can I fail out by picking the wrong option multiple times here? Yeah, let's hear more about those typos. Oh, God. All right. Can I fail out on this? I want. I need to know. Yeah, let's hear more. I lost. I'm a failure. They're, they're <laughs> gonna send me back to internet law school. No. <laughs> no. No. This is voluntary. This is entirely voluntary that he's reviewing this case. Oh man. Oh. I guess that's just how it goes. I guess I get a do-over. That's good. Wait, how many do-overs does he get? In the real world, there are no do-overs. <laughs> yeah, Alright, we're gonna see just how many do-overs we get yeah, here. Let's hear more... uh, yeah, let's hear more about the- No! That's three strikes! Simulation failure. Oof. I lost! I'm a failure! They're, they're gonna send me back to internet law school! No! No! Wait. All no! Right. Is there a real possibility that they send him back? No. We we can only choose try again. There's no give up option. I mean, we could exit to the menu, but... Oh. I guess I get a do-over. That's good. But remember... All right, all right. World... I guess we'll try to actually win. Let's discuss the major infraction. The one about the bad cliffhangers. Agreed. I have the uh, fan fiction right here. If everyone could uh, click on the link. Games: The Legend of Shelley, The Deadly Tritifor, Author Vic Berger. Summary: Blink is summoned by Suna to the Water Bottle Temple. Gunnan has escaped from prison and become a mermaid. Can Blink and Suna defeat him? And where is Shelley? Hints of Blink slash Gunnan. Rated kid-friendly adventure English, 1,559 words, and 38 reviews. 38 reviews? Like, who's reviewing this? What? You shipped Blink and Gunnan? But they're mortal enemies! That's what makes them such a good couple! It's forbidden romance! I demand an Touché. instant guilty verdict, Your Honor. This man is clearly guilty of having no taste whatsoever. Sustained. Objection. This isn't a blink gun and slash fic. The description clearly says there are only hints of them as a couple. Objection! You know as well as I do that summaries can be deceptive. Why, I once read a fanfic that had a Jerry Lila ship in the summary, and they weren't even in the story. It was all about Steve going to the store and buying bagels. That sounds convincing. Objection! 
What kind of bagels were they? <laughs> nice. I'm sorry. Everybody else got to raise an objection. I thought it would be cool if I got to, too. That objection was almost as bad as trying to ship Blink and Gun. Oh boy. Okay, uh, this came up in the last trial, too. Good always wins. Clearly takes her shipping wars seriously. Should I, uh... It's good to have a hobby. Yeah, let's continue this argument. Oh, come on! No fair! I just wanted to hear more about the fanfiction. Yeah, me too. I read that fanfic. The bagels were clearly a metaphor for the author's tortured soul. No, they weren't. It was just garbage. We called that author into questioning, believe it or not. Story <laughs> checked out, but we did make her update the description. The punishment was two weeks without access to her fanfic account. Mm. So that's why she never wrote a sequel. That's awful! Really? You probably gave her a bad case of writer's block. The only kind of block I support is blocking trash like that from appearing on my computer. Mm. It's almost as bad as the story where Jerry married a stuffed animal. Hey! That story was written before the stuffed animal revealed he was a villain. <sighs> Don't remind me. Yeah, okay. I uh, I have no idea. Yeah, what this is this about. like how I'm just gonna put an end to this right people now. People who argue just day. enjoy arguing. Yeah, I mean, is there something wrong? Just a minute ago, we wanted to see them continue arguing. Now we're tired of seeing them argue. I, I don't get that. But further. A two-week ban caused this person to stop writing forever? What's up with that? Let's move on. We've got the summary. Let's see the story. Agreed. I think it shouldn't be that way either. What? <laughs> okay. And if you look closely, you'll notice a problem with the summary page. Yep, I definitely call my boys in on this one. What? M my description is crazy! Yeah, I see nothing wrong with the description. Besides the stupid idea that I mean, Gunman saw was a cop reviews. Mermaid, there's an obvious grammatical problem. You can see it, right, Judge? <laughs> ooh, ooh, okay. Yeah. No pressure. So I'm not that great with grammar. Like, I can never remember if it's supposed to be irregardless or unregardless. It's un-irregardless. That, that little comma thing with the dot on the top. What is that? That's the exclamation semicolon. Where the prosecution is going with this? Where is the mistake on the summary page? Wait, why is it the judge's responsibility to point this out? All right. Um, a grammatical error. I'm wanting to nitpick and point something out that's like completely irrelevant here. Um. I mean, there's an exclamation point in the rating, right? That's a grammatical error. No. You don't put an exclamation point in a rating. You only- you reserve that for use in sentences. Um... Hmm. What else? Um... I mean, here we have a sentence fragment, right? Hints of this. Like, this, um, this last little phrase here has a period, and, uh, it's more of a parenthetical. You know, it's not a sentence. Um. The summary is flawed. Why are they asking if Surya and Blink can defeat Gunn? Obviously, they will. They're the heroes. And why are you bringing up Shelly if she's not even in the story? <laughs> maybe she is, and maybe she isn't. Oh, You'll dear. have to read the story to find out. You see, Your Honor, he's trying to lure in readers with false story descriptions. Objection. I say you should be punished. Objection! Not only are you wrong, but you're irrelevant. This isn't a grammatical error at all. <sighs> ah, dang it. Okay. That's a strike against me. Wait. It's fine. Again, why Let's am I being asked to do this? There's a problem with... No, I mean... Okay, no, the game did try to prompt us for... Um, a grammatical error. 
Yeah, fine. I guess we'll have to point out the typo. Yes, the title. Not only does it have nothing to do with the story, but you spell THE with a capital T and a capital H. Only one of those letters should be capitalized. That should be the H. That was just H. a typo! I held down the shift button for too long. Then why didn't you correct it? I didn't notice it until just now! Yep, you're right. Let the record show that the defendant is sloppy and negligent. Wow, you're totally nitpicking here. Right, Judge? Oh, hang on. No, we're gonna side with the prosecution on this. Hmm, I guess I have to decide if the prosecution is being too picky or not. No, oh, she's right! Is the defense being too picky? Hang on. It's the prosecution who's being picky about the typos. But, um... The prosecution's making a fair point. Yeah. Even if it's a minor infraction, it's still an infraction. Yep. Oh, no fair, Judge! I shouldn't get a penalty for that! Let's take it one step further. <laughs> Your Honor, if the defendant is found guilty, he should be banned from writing fanfics. For life. Ooh. Now that's way unfair. What's your deal? Do you just hate fanfic authors or something? <laughs> I have my reasons. And they are? Didn't you hear about the fanfic trial last week? The one with the lifetime ban? Ah yes, the grammar police versus good always wins case. Ooh. We at the grammar police were hoping it would set a precedent. Wait, Wait. good always wins? I know that name from somewhere. Mm -hmm. If you recall, the defendant claimed she was being fished by a troll by the name of Squeaky Frog Fan. Because I was being fished! My fanfiction is... was... fantastic! But the alleged troll was never found, and she was found guilty of all charges. Okay, sure, I have a pass, but that doesn't mean that I'm biased. I just think that if I can't write fanfiction, that he shouldn't be allowed to either. She's totally biased. Your Honor, I recommend giving her a harsh penalty. Look, nope. I will put my reputation on the line for this case. If the defendant is found guilty, he gets a lifetime ban. If the defendant is found innocent, I will never take a fanfiction case again. That's Ooh. fair, right? Uh, no. Fair would be if I lose, I get banned forever. If you lose, <laughs> you get banned forever. Well, you're super guilty, so I accept those terms. Oh, this isn't going to end well for her. <laughs> but let's move past the summary page and on to the first chapter, uncreatively titled Chapter One. Look at it. Uh, okay. Uh, Treadley, uh, Tritifor, One, Chapter One. Blink was hanging around in the woods, being all cool and stuff, when Surya showed up. Blink, Blink, we have to get to the Water Bottle Temple. Why, Blink asked. There's nothing but water and bottles. Something bad's happening there. What is? It, Blink asked. It's Gunnan, he's escaped from prison. Alright. So, wait, can I, like, select any of this stuff? Nope. Fav and follow dice. Um, so, the other thought I had is, like, if there's some way that this judge can end the trial quickly, it moves on to the next chapter. That'd be totally in the judge's interest to do so, right? So, I want to be a biased judge if I can. Seems pretty straightforward to me. I see three problems with this chapter. Two of them are grammatical errors. At this point, the judge pointed out grammar mistakes in the chapter. Oh. Really? You're going to make the judge point out the evidence again. Great. Well, the judge, I guess, the evaluates it for this case was a since we lack error. a witness. Okay, cool. Um, Although yeah, we have a witness can, right there. I can click on the, the sentences that have grammar issues. Yeah, surely we could call on the witness uh, to talk about um, grammatical things. Um, hmm. Wait, one dot chapter one without a capitalization here, and okay, fine. Can't pick that. Where are the mistakes in chapter one? Um, hmm. I want to nitpick things that are not intended to be the main point, but fine. 
Uh, the grammar issue is... It's here? No? Alright. This stuff's hard. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Fine. Alright, um... <laughs> we have to get to the water bottle temple. I know people will say it this way. But it's, we have to go to the uh, water bottle temple. The grammar issue is... It's here? No? Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, alright. I guess we'll actually try to do what the game wants us to do. This is an error! Why is there a line break in the middle of the paragraph? That's a formatting error. I blame the website. Did Touché. you review the story after posting it? Uh, no. I leave that job to my many talented reviewers. 38 people reviewed, reviewed it. Everyone. Please like and subscribe. As a member of the Grammar Police, I recommend you review each story at least four times. Okay, mm. time to find the other grammar issue. Wait, they said there were three issues. They were finding the other issue, but I thought there were three. But I don't see a third issue. Um. Hmm. Uh, the grammar issue is... It's here. Alright, um, I actually don't see it, so I'm being kind of dumb at the moment. Um... This, that's, that's not oh, there a we sentence. Go. It's like half a sentence. I just that's saw it. That's a grammar it. issue. I didn't mean to put a period there, I meant for it to be a comma. A likely excuse. Just because the period key is <laughs> next to the comma key, you think you can say it's a mere slip of the finger? But that's the truth! The grammar issues aren't important. Charges are being filed not for the bad grammar, but for the bad cliffhanger. But that's not a cliffhanger. That's a perfectly logical and normal place to end a chapter. Yeah, if that was supposed to be a cliffhanger, I would have something dramatic happen. But no, that's just Surya talking to Blink. Talking to him about the main villain escaping from prison. Pretty dramatic, don't you say, Your Honor? Uh, Wait, could I get why is the judge evaluating what this? A cliffhanger is? At this point, the judge decided whether the alleged cliffhanger required punishment. Um. Hmm. Wait, do I get to dole out? I mean, so I see the defense has one strike already. Yeah, we gotta punish for this. I condemn thee to nine years of pain, foul monster. You will suffer for your atrocities. Yes. Oh. No, that's three strikes. Oh, we lost again. Sweet. I lost. I'm a failure. Th All right, we'll try again. All right. The cliffhanger is not that bad. Certainly not bad enough to warrant a lifetime ban. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> All There's the a alleged making of the... cliffhangers in the story are just like that. Nothing worth worrying about. <laughs> That's a pretty good case you have there. It'd be a shame if someone updated the court record. <gasps> you can't do what? that. Wait. Wait, hang on. The defense already had a strike. And since the simulation reset, the defense's strike has gone away. Okay, that's kind of weird. But further, um... Yeah, I think there's some extras where they explain how, like, the, the camera panning up there in the middle of the shot, like, was unintentional, so... I presume you see the obvious grammar issue, Your Honor. Um, yeah, the multiple exclamation points? You're definitely not supposed to use more than four at once. Exactly. That is not how you spell <laughs> totally. Who does that? Uh, hey. I knew there was an A in the word, I just wasn't sure where. It's phonetic punctuation. Always use spellcheck, it is your friend! Objection! Spellcheck is more like a frenemy. Nice to your face, but always looking to undermine you. <laughs> oh, please tell me I don't have to make a decision on this. You have to make a decision on this. Oh! Okay, we actually do. Dang it, um... All right. Um, pretend to make a decision. Spell check is the best. Objection overruled. Spell check's the best. It helps me get rid of all those little red squiggly marks in my emails. But again, 
We're not here to discuss the grammar mistakes. The main issue is the cliffhanger. It's completely fake and dramatic, and it comes with a desperate plea for more views and reviews. I, mm. for one, would definitely downvote this story. You would A chapter for one little paragraph does seem to be overdoing it. That's a standard way to end a chapter! No, it's not! It's a dumb cliffhanger, and the dumb cliffhangers go on for 40 more chapters at least! All right. Yeah, we gotta punish uh, everything. Yeah, I agree. That cliffhanger's a problem. It's it's basically the entire oh. chapter. Well, that's it's much more level-headed than like I was that. gonna say. Exactly. And now let's but move on fine. to chapter three. Are we going to go through the entire story chapter by chapter? That'll take forever. These chapters are all really short. Don't be so whiny. Oh. All right, we're not even uh -huh. gonna read it. See, that's what I was saying earlier. Spellcheck doesn't always help. It changed author's note to author's not. Oh, that's You're gonna blame though. spellcheck Did for that? Did you use spellcheck, Vic? I, I, I don't remember. Maybe you don't remember because you put absolutely <laughs> no effort into writing the story. The whole chapter is just two sentences long, and they're both just recapping the last chapter. That's not true at all. He wrote the author's note at the start and end of the oh. chapter. He didn't do that in the previous chapters. Mm -hmm. Clearly he's improving. He is not. <laughs> we know from the story summary that they're going to find Mermaid Gunnan. Why is the author dragging it out? I... Wow. Spoilers. Maybe he updated the summary afterwards. Ever think of that? He didn't. I know exactly what happened. You read the story, but instead of posting it in one piece, you split it up into a bunch of tiny pieces. Mm. So you can have tragic, contrived cliffhangers everywhere. Well, the Why only is tragedy here is your inability to write good fan fiction. You're crazy! I wrote all those chapters separately. Oh yeah, no! Yeah, that's why they're so short. Oh I, no! I didn't have time to write full-length chapters. And that last cliffhanger, it, it was a placeholder. I, I accidentally deleted my notes for the rest of the story, but the reviewers <laughs> demanded an extra chapter, so I, I just wrote the first thing I could think of. Hmm. <laughs> Not so fast. There's irrefutable proof that you wrote the story in one piece, and it's found in the story itself. Hang it on. It is. It is? Hang on. First of all, like, okay, you don't want the defendant testifying like this, because the prosecution's gonna find fault with the testimony. Secondly, um, I think we're gonna find that uh, what isn't actually in the chapter Oh, come uh, on, isn't this the attorney's I, job? I don't remember what this game <sighs> All right. had. Where's the proof that all three chapters were written simultaneously? The reader reviews. Okay, yeah, that's that's a penalty for me. <laughs> um, all right. I have no idea what proves that all three chapters were written simultaneously. Are you going to get a hint? No hint. All right, how about this one? Okay, yeah, that's that's a penalty for me. Um, I have no idea what proves that all oh, three chapters clip. were written simultaneously. All right, can I pick anything else? No, I guess we'll pick this. Exactly! The timestamps show all three chapters were published on the exact same day. Those are below the chapter, the that's not in the chapter. No! Admit it. The defendant wrote all three chapters at the same time. This completely disproves his lie that they're placeholder chapters written at a later date. Oh no! There's no denying the evidence. The, the prosecution's <laughs> correct. The defendant's been lying. No, no, I can explain. It's, it's a bad timestamp? I can confirm that the timestamps are 100% accurate. Hang on. Um, it's, yeah, it's, stop uh, it, stop no, it, no, no, don't! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, what just happened? Did they put a word, internet? a space between time and stamp? You, you have to stop it! He didn't write that story, I did! What? what? No way! <laughs> Young lady, you have to be at least 13 years old to post on the fanfiction website. I'm no too young! That's why I asked my daddy to post this, the story for me. I was really proud of it. Do you like the part about the mermaid? <laughs> we, we haven't gotten that far yet. Mm. We got hung up on the cliffhangers in the first three chapters. Mm. What's a cliffhanger? 
hang it. I'm wondering the same thing, kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, it was it was all a, a big misunderstanding. <laughs> hey, no drinking in my courtroom. Straight out of the wine you're bottle. Going to share. Or the grape juice bottle. Uh, we don't really have an established protocol for this situation. Hey. I wrote a disclaimer saying that my kid wrote most of the story. I well, you did edit it too. Sounds good to me. Me too. No, <laughs> my case, my beautiful case. This was going to be my victory. Instead, it is your defeat. I hereby declare the defendant innocent of writing bad cliffhangers mm. because he did not write the Hang stories on. in question. Case closed. Uh, if you'd like to appeal the decision, you can always uh, blah 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 Hang on. end the simulation. They put a space between time and stamp. Um, but also, like, just because, like, he uploaded the document. So that's what happened in the contrived cliffhanger case. I'd say the results were both good and bad. Vic Berger Wait. was inspired by what happened and decided to join Internet Court as a prosecutor. Sadly, Dina Goodwin was forced to accept the harsh terms that she herself had laid down. And she was given a lifetime ban from serving as a prosecutor in Internet Court. Oh. So that's why she became a defense attorney. Wait. It wasn't her choice. No. That's not the term she agreed to. Anyway, uh, that should give you an idea of what it's like to be a judge in the Internet Court. No matter what they say, this job isn't for amateurs. You, you have to be on your toes because things can change at a moment's notice. You have to be fair and just in your rulings and stand by them. Hmm. And most importantly, you have to be good with words. Because if you're not good with words... <laughs> inspiring. Truly. Truly inspiring. Yep, yeah, lock case number three. Um, perhaps we break here. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, the term she agreed to was that she'd be banned from, uh, the internet. Not banned from being a prosecutor. But also, we didn't validate the validity of the timestamps, but also there's the terms and conditions of the site, which surely would explain in the circumstance what to do. Anyway, um, yeah, those are our first couple cases. Um... Again, this is by O-Rock Studio, who produced other such excellent games. And uh, you want to check this out? Uh, it's available on Steam and perhaps other platforms. Um, but yeah, this is uh, Time for Justice. Uh, so, many thanks uh, to creators of this game for producing such interesting material. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much what I imagined it would be. I think it plays better than it does like in a live stream setting because if I have to talk over the game it's a bit awkward. Uh, I tried to keep my commentary interspersed between the game's comments but I think it kind of worked out. Um, also feel free to check out other people playing this game. They've done excellent playthroughs and made a little bit less snarky comments than I have. I've made it kind of my objective here to try to exploit every ending, but um, I think other people made a sincere effort to try to beat the game, so uh, yeah, feel free to observe their perspectives and see what the game is normally like. Uh, some of those prompts weren't as difficult as I pretended they were. Um, yeah, and I guess maybe if someday they want me to like QA test or something, this I could maybe spend a little time doing such a thing trying to like nitpick everything but i know producing a game is hard i've produced games of my own nothing of this sort but um produced other software and games so um yeah i have some idea what uh game production and software production is like even if i don't do much in this genre um Anyway, yeah, thanks uh, to O-Rock Studios for providing this review copy. I hope you enjoyed this review, or this playthrough, rather. And if you want me to continue, like and subscribe. It's No, I'm not going to shill for that. Um, so yeah, check it out. Uh, it's available on Steam. And they produced other such interesting games with clever dialogue. 
I'm not sure. This might be their first in this kind of genre with a, a motion video uh, embedded in the middle of the game, as opposed to like animation or other sorts of interactions. Um, so I don't know in the future if they'll do more games like this or they'll continue doing their normal shtick. No, actually, um, the Awkward Steve duology was in kind of the same category, so this is a good prep for this game. This flows a bit better than the previous games. Um, I'm sure it'll con they'll continue to improve as they produce more games in the future. So, uh, yeah, it was good fun. Uh, happy Independence Day. Uh, take care, and we'll see you next time.